I thought it was a, I thought it was a good match. We, uh, you know, I thought both teams were playing very similar at the at the beginning of the first uh, the first game and parts of the second game. And I thought uh, the key for us was that our defense was so good we didn't give them any easy kills at any point in time. And you know, these two next to me had good nights offensively. Deja passed and served well and. For us to have success, we need everybody to do <coughs> certain things. I thought Megan Courtney blocked well, and uh, you know we uh, we got we got good uh, help off the bench, and you know it was a good uh, team victory for us. Okay, we'll open it up for questions for the student athletes. Deja, what's it mean to you to to beat the for for you the home state team again? Um, it's definitely tough to play against your friends, but you know, we're all fighting for the same thing and everybody wants to win, so uh, it's just nice that we go out there and play tough, and uh, Meg also knows a couple of the girls, so you know, we just kind of struggle with that a little bit. Ariel, Kentucky was kind of, you know, they were serving you guys really tough tonight. Um, what adjustments did you make, you know, definitely in the, in the second set and, and into the third to kind of counteract that? Uh, yeah, I definitely think uh, we passed well in the second and third sets, which really helped us. I mean, when we pass well, we have a pretty good offense, so we were worried, a little bit worried about the passing, but Dom and the other people picked it up, and they ended up doing a really good job. You know, for us to outdig them by 10, 10 digs was really important. We thought the key for us was that our defense needed to match their defense, because uh, you know, we saw them play last year. That was really the last time I saw them live when they were hosting a regional. And, you know, they played great against Texas. So we knew that uh, we knew that their defensive intensity was, was going to be very high. And, uh, you know, Skinner does a great job. And the Kentucky team did a, did a very good Ohio State team that, that uh, competed very hard in our, uh, in our conference. And, you know, so, so we knew that it was going to be a match that we had to do certain things if we had hoped to have success. Ariel, can you talk about your match tonight? Um, <laughs> sure. I mean, I definitely think going for the tournament, I'm going to have to keep my errors down, my hitting errors. But I mean, we got the jitters out, so I think we'll be okay at that. We're usually pretty good with keeping our errors down. Serving and passing was really good today, so that helped me out a lot. Do any further questions from that, please? Okay, ladies, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Open up for questions for Coach. Coach, you know, same thing uh, I asked Ariel, but what was Kentucky doing well? Was it just their serving that they were kind of getting you guys out of rhythm, and, and how did you guys kind of counteract that? Well, you guys can go. You guys are free. You're excused, as they say. Thank you. Uh, I mean, in Kentucky, sure, they serve well, and, and they're big at the net. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very athletic team, and certainly, you know, Morgan and Billings next to each other is a very big block. So, you know, O'Connor is a, uh, is a large block when she's blocking by herself. So, you know, we needed to control the ball, and we needed to uh, try and find some scenes, but what we really needed to do was, you know, we had a few things in the game plan, and I thought the players did a real nice job with those things. O'Connor and Frazier really had tough nights on the left side. What did you guys do to, to kind of take them away? Well, I mean, I, I don't know if we did anything to take them away. I, I mean, that's the first time I saw them play. I thought they both took some great shots, and, you know, they have good range, and, you know, they made, a, they made more mistakes maybe than they typically make, but that that's what happens if the other team is causing you problems and, and I'm sure that's what Kentucky does to a lot of people during the year is their defense is their strength and uh, but you know we uh, you know, we felt that you know A. Scott was going to get her kills and, and we needed Deja and Megan to take some good swings out there and we thought we could uh, get some swings uh, out of the pins. Uh, Coach, no matter what happens in the second match tonight, you guys are going to be playing another Big Ten team uh, just kind of what kind, uh, what uh, difficulties does that create in trying to plan uh, against a team that plays you quite often during the year? Well, I mean, the, the bigger the good news is we don't have to spend an incredible amount of time on the scouting report because all of the teams are familiar with each other. But it's how you play; it's not who you play. And uh, 
we, we've had some very tough matches with both of those teams. And, uh, you know, uh, from my standpoint, you know, you don't really care who you play. You just hope that your team plays well. And uh, if, if your team plays well, then, you know, then you hope that you have success. And if the other team plays better, then as disappointing as that might be, you, you know, you recognize that, you know, it's a conference school and everybody in the Big Ten cares and everybody uh, is well coached and there's a great talent level across the board on all the Big Ten teams. And, you know, I hope everybody in the Big Ten roots for the Big Ten teams. Anything else? Coach, thank you for your